welcome to the Backswing Revisited. For those of you that have seen the site before, the Backswing was one of the first videos I ever did. And now after all of my years of exploring, teaching, traveling, having the experience of meeting a lot of people all around the world, uh, time to revisit the Backswing. I was surprised occasionally to see some people really overdo it and all of a sudden there's all this going on, there's way too much activity. That was never the intention. And I actually had a very, very well-known trumpet player in New York say to me after my presentation, I never talk to my students about breathing. I've got to be honest, I was slightly horrified by that. Now I can probably agree that there's probably too much talking about breathing and, and too many ideas and, and too much confusion. However, at the end of the day, the issues that I was having when I was at university, uh, people were saying, you know, Greg, you sound great, but I was killing myself and everything was hard work and I'd put on an album by my favourite players and listen to the, the freedom and fluency of their playing and go, I'm not playing like you, I'm, I'm working way too hard. And for me it was because basically I was taking small breaths and pushing and of course, there were sound implications. One of the ideas behind the backswing is basically just to train us to take a breath every time we play. I mean, imagine a golfer, you know, or a tennis player hitting a winner down the line. They would never forget to take a backswing. We often, in the chaos of playing, with too many things going on, we forget to take a decent breath. I can guarantee the top golfers never forget to take a backswing when they go to play the sport. So the backswing is just about training us to habitualize a decent, is there such a word as habitualize? Taking a proper breath every time we go to play. <laughs> going to be talking about the body's concert hall later in the course. So I'll introduce you to it here by simply getting you to bend your finger around. Okay, so we're going to put it between your teeth. Now clearly you're not going to be able to play. Uh, I could put my um, instrument in my mouth if I did that. But what I'm developing here is a sensation and a feeling and an openness in the body. So if I get you just to bend your finger around and put it between your teeth and breathe in really slowly. Now just go as far as you can without getting tight in the body. I want you to do it one more time with your eyes closed. And I want you to determine whether that's a familiar feeling or a foreign feeling. We'll talk more about that later. However, I will let you know that that openness that we develop by doing this is the feeling that I have all over the entire range of the instrument. The backswing is about developing a habit that every time the instrument comes up, no matter what, naturally you are going to now an argument sometimes can be with the breathing thing while we never have to be taught to uh, breathe when we talk and I agree with that generally people just talk normally and you take a small breath for a soft short line you take a big breath if you're going to yell at someone and you take breaths in between for whatever you need to be saying however singing is a different ball game and I think, uh, no, I'm, I don't think I'm positive that uh, breathing habits uh, and efficiency are very important when it comes to singing. We are working on an efficient breath to enable one, a wholesome sound and two, an efficient approach to playing. When we're moving the hand in front of the mouth, I want to suck air past the hand, but I don't want the body to tighten up is the same as 
but without the hand. But every time that hand moves, we're training the brain to take a breath. So whether I grab the visualizer, the mouthpiece, the breath is being commanded by the movement of the hand. If I use the lead pipe, or if I play the trumpet. Getting that breath is allowing the expansion of the body without having to push and tighten. It opens up the sound column, another concept that I'll be talking about later in the course. All of these really important things that tie into efficiency. Work on the body's concert hall breath, eyes closed, openness, the backswing, the expansion of the body, training the body to breathe, to play efficiently, play with a big sound, and do it all with your eyes closed because we're developing a feeling of what we want to do when we're playing. And eventually, you will not be able to go and put the instrument into place to play without getting a decent breath on board. Complete the quiz below and move to the next lesson.